What's up, Saints fans? I hope you guys are having, are having a wonderful Friday. We got some interesting stuff to talk about. And so if you want to get Frank Clark in New Orleans, if you want the Saints to sign him, I need you to hit the thumbs up icon and like this video. And as for what we're discussing, we're talking Frank Clark to New Orleans. We're talking about a possible Hunter Renfro trade. So Saints fans, help us out. Hit the thumbs up icon if you want Frank Clark in New Orleans, because I know I think it might be an interesting idea. And there's some ESPN analysts who are saying the same thing. All right, so there's more Frank Clark buzz out there. ESPN has put out an article saying that the New Orleans Saints are the best fit for the defensive end from the Kansas City Chiefs, the former Seattle Seahawk, Frank Clark. And taking a look at the depth chart just to kind of set the scene here, you can see that there's a not a massive need at the defensive end spot, but you, also, you always could use more depth. With Isaiah Foskey, your second-round pick out of Notre Dame, he is going to be a gamer. He's going to be a stud. That being said, he is a rookie. So I think that having Isaiah Foskey learn under Frank Clark and Carl Granderson would be a smart move because Frank Clark, he's a gamer. Last season, in 15 games played, he had 39 tackles, 8 tackles for a loss, 56 QB pressures, which is a number I love. And then he had five quarterback sacks. And that's something that the Saints struggled to do early in the season last year is get sacks and get that pressure on the quarterback. And so as for what ESPN said about Frank Clark, they said the Saints addressed their front during the draft, adding defensive tackle Brian Brzee and defensive end Isaiah Foskey with their first two picks. I would still look at Clark, however, because of his traits and the upside he would bring to coach Dennis Allen's scheme. Clark can align in the Saints' loaded front to get edge one-on-ones opposite of Cameron Jordan and loop inside on stunts and twists in the Chiefs' postseason run to a Super Bowl title. Clark had two and a half sacks and six pressures, so we know he still has some pass rush juice. For a New Orleans team that wants to compete for the NFC South, NFC South title, he could help in the nickel and dime fronts. And so just as a, honestly, just kind of as my take, I think it would be a really smart move to go and get Frank Clark for the reasons that ESPN laid out. Now there's obviously the possibility that he has some character concerns. There is a possibility he may not fit in the locker room, but I truly do believe with the amount of leadership you have on the defensive side of the ball, not, well, I mean, just not even the defensive side of the ball, but as a whole, but especially on the defense, I feel like you can, you know, maybe take a little bit of a gamble, similar to what the Eagles did with drafting um, Nolan Smith, or not Nolan Smith, Jalen Carter, excuse me, drafting Jalen Carter. He had some character issues. You need to bring him into a strong locker room, and that's where he will protect thrive and that's what we're seeing with the Eagles and I think that that's something that you could possibly see with the Saints and Frank Clark as well so sound off Saints fans we got a little bit more to talk about Frank Clark and why I think he would be a good fit but I need your one word reaction if the Saints were to go and sign Frank Clark suppose June 1 it's going to get interesting the rumors are going to be spiraling out of control so I need you to help me out let me know what is your one word reaction if the Saints sign Frank Clark so another reason why I think Frank Clark would be an in interesting player to add to the Saints step chart is because he's a stud in the postseason. He puts up his best numbers in the postseason, and when you look at his stats in the playoffs with the Chiefs, he had 12 games played, so I kind of look at this as a, he almost played a full season in the postseason just with Kansas City. He had 32 tackles, 14 tackles for a loss. 14 QB hits, and 10 and a half sacks. And not to mention, I brought this up before and I'll bring it up again. He had 93 sack yards with the Chiefs last season. And that's pretty much the length of, or last season, he had 93 uh, sack yards with the Chiefs. And that's pretty much the entirety of a football field, which is incredible. And here's the thing, ESPN isn't the only one talking about this. We're not the only ones talking about this. There's a lot of buzz around Frank Clark to the Saints, so that makes me believe there is a real possibility that this could happen. Bleacher Report actually put out an uh, article suggesting seven different players in seven different teams that would be a good fit to sign before training camp, and they said Frank Clark would be a good fit with the New Orleans Saints. And they said that while Foskey could make an impact in his rookie season, the Saints should add an established veteran to line up opposite of Cam Jordan, who's going into his age 34 term. At 29 years old, Frank Clark is on the back end of his prime years, but he could help a pass rush 
and make plays in the backfield. So, Saints fans, I need you to be honest for me. I've laid out my opinion. I think that it would be an interesting and pretty smart idea, but I need to hear from you. I want you to be honest with me. Would you sign Frank Clark? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Let me know in the comment section. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. I'll be interacting with your answers after we, you know, hear from you guys. All right, so let's get weird, Saints fans. It's a Friday. Let's have some fun. Let's get into it. Let's get to the nitty-gritty. Let's discuss trading Jameis Winston for Hunter Renfro because I've seen some articles. I've seen some buzz. I've seen some, you know, just things going around on the Twitter sphere and in the Twitterverse, if you will. Um, my initial reaction, don't trade Jameis Winston. Don't trade him. Why? I'll get to that in just a minute. But let's talk about Hunter Renfro and why I think that it would be an interesting idea to bring him in. I think that it's a good idea to, for the Saints to trade for Hunter Renfro but I don't want to trade Jameis Winston. And as for why I would want to trade for Hunter Renfro, look at these numbers. In four years with the Las Vegas Raiders, he had 244 receptions, 2,629 yards, 17 touchdowns, and just under 11 yards per catch. 56 games played, Hunter Renfro, also known as third in Renfro. It's interesting. I think that it would be a really good fit. He has the chemistry. He has the you know ties to Derek Carr. And... He's one of his favorite targets, so I think that it would make a lot of sense. And this is interesting. Shout out to my guy Mitchell Renz for you know put it, putting me on the on this photo and showing me this. This is a Hunter Renfro jersey that is on sale. The Raiders are putting Hunter Renfro jerseys on sale for twenty five percent off. What's that mean? Is it writing on the wall? Is is a deal already in the works and is it happening? I don't know. But this is certainly interesting, and I get it. It's a social media thing. But we got to look at it because at the end of the day, nowadays social media buzz actually has some weight. But my take on this as a whole, I wouldn't mind trading for a third in Renfro. However, I do believe that the Saints have plenty of good pass catchers, not just in the wide receiver room, not just in the running back room, but also in the tight end room. You have guys like Chris Olave, Michael Thomas, if he can be healthy, Brian Edwards, A.T. Perry, Foster Morrow, Juwan Johnson, Kendra Miller, Jamal Williams, Alvin Kamara outside of his suspension. You also have a uh, Rashid Shahid, not to mention. You have so many weapons for Derek Carr. Lucas Kroll could also be a guy to look out for. So I think you have plenty of weapons, but absolutely I'm okay with bringing in one of Derek Carr's most reliable weapons. I think it would make a lot of sense. So I think it would be an interesting idea, and I also want to hear what you guys have to say, so share your thoughts in the comments section. But also, we are on the road to 15K. We're going to be talking about Jameis Winston and why I think the Saints should keep him, but we got to talk about this first. We are just 245 subs away from reaching our goal of 15,000 subs. The Falcons fans are saying we can't do it. The Bucks fans, all four of them, are saying we can't do it. And all six of the Panthers fans that exist are saying we can't do it. So prove them wrong, shut them up, and hit that sub button so we can, you know, hit that 15,000 milestone because that would be awesome. All right. I would not trade j Bo. I love Jameis Winston. If you are new to this show, I love Jameis Winston. He's a great guy to have in the locker room. He's a fun guy to watch. He's hilarious. He has, you know, obviously the best workout regiments out there. But he's also just a good locker room guy. He's a good leader, and he's somebody that has talent still. And Jameis wants to serve this team. He wants to serve Derek Carr, and he is great to have in a locker room. And actually, in a, after uh, OTAs, Jameis Winston was asked about his role with the New Orleans Saints and what he is expecting and how he feels about it. And he said, I'm still preparing for whatever opportunity presents itself because I still believe I'm a starting quarterback in this league. But right now, my role is to serve Derek and be the best teammate I can. He continued to say, you know, I've just had some unfortunate injuries over the past three years. So this is where I'm at, you know, but this is not where I visualize being in the near future. But where I'm at right now is focusing on getting healthy, taking advantage of this opportunity that I have to serve Derek, serve this team, and serve this organization the best I can. And I just have to say, wow. I mean, that is wildly impressive. It is very cool to see that from a guy like Jameis Winston, who had the opportunity to be the starting quarterback. There was some weird things going on last season and him not starting. And it just impresses me to see that he is still 
wanting to be a leader and wanting to be around this team. He is bought into what this team has done. And if Javis Winston impressed you with that quote and impressed you with, you know, just wanting to serve the team and the organization, the community, the, the city of New Orleans, hit the thumbs up icon, like this video, because I know I'm impressed and I hope you are as well. But let's get to the trade value for Hunter Renfro. So if the Saints were to trade for him, the, uh, they would have to pick up a $11.3 million cap hit. Hunter Renfro, you can see his stats from last season, 36 receptions, 333, uh, 330 yards, excuse me, and 27 touchdowns. Former Clemson Tiger, again, third and Renfro is a thing. I think it's a very smart move to bring him in. And here's what I would propose as a trade idea. You give them a fifth round pick. Maybe you have to give up a fourth, but I'm giving them a fifth round pick. And in return, I want Hunter Renfro and I want a sixth round draft pick because you're clearing a lot of money for the Raiders. You're clearing a lot of money off the books. You're taking on a pretty decent cap hit. Saints have about $14 million, give or take, uh, left in cap space. So this would eat up a good chunk of that, but I think that it would make sense to go and get it. That's why I want a sixth round draft pick as well. But who says no, Saints fans? Let me know in the comment section. Would the Saints say no to this? Would they offer something different? Or would the Raiders say, get that out of here. I don't want to take a fifth round pick. Give me a second or a third. I don't think that that's what's going to happen. But would the Raiders say no or the Saints say no to this uh, trade? Let me know in the comment section. Guys, one more quick reminder. I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and making us a part of your Friday. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up icon. And as always, y'all stay golden. Have a wonderful weekend.